What's going on guys? Radio Graffiti here, and today I want to talk to you guys about some movie news. So, Aaron Pierre has officially been cast in the HBO show titled Lanterns. Aaron Pierre, he's not somebody I'm familiar with. I know he recently had a huge movie on Netflix called Rebel Ridge or something along those lines. I haven't seen it. I might need to go see it now though because of this. John Stewart is my Green Lantern. I grew up with him. So I'm very excited to see John Stewart be adapted into live action finally. I've been waiting to see this since I was a kid. I wanted to see him in the movies and now here he is. My only concern though is it's a TV show. So I don't want them to give him some kind of crappy CW looking costume or something. You know, I don't want to look cheap. I don't want them to get sidelined where they only have him be Green Lantern for maybe like one episode or two because, you know, it'd be too high of a budget to have him constantly using his powers all throughout the show. So those are kind of my only concerns with this Lantern TV show. I know TV shows nowadays, they have such high budgets, but I mean, keep in mind, they have a lot more hours to cover than movies do. So $200 million for a TV show isn't as much when you look at it for a movie because a movie is only like two or three hours, if even that. But TV shows, they got to have eight hours, 10 hours, depending on which ones we're talking about. But yeah, as far as the casting itself, I don't know much about the actor, so I can't say you know, as far as his acting ability or anything, but I mean, looks like John Stewart to me. And of course, some people on the internet, they're not satisfied with anything. There's still people out there right now saying, oh, you know, he's not black enough to be John Stewart. You know, just people who are always going to complain no matter what. And of course, the Snyder fans, they're butt hurt because their John Stewart never made it to live action. All we have for the other live action John Stewart that never actually made it to live action because it was like a deleted scene for that Snyder Cut or something. They are all pissed about this as well, making the usual joke. But I'm excited to see what he can do. Definitely seems like he has the right physique, which doesn't really matter because he's going to be in a suit the whole time anyway. But yeah, I'm excited for this Lanterns TV show. I don't know much about it other than it's kind of a mystery sort of detective show, which seems pretty interesting. I think they've even casted a Hal Jordan as well. I think they went with a bit of an older actor, which is a little bit weird to me because... You know, why is Hal Jordan so old in this unless they're trying to pass a torch to John Stewart? Which kind of sucks because we haven't had a Hal Jordan since Ryan Reynolds' is Green Lantern in live action. So the fact we're getting one in Lanterns and he's probably going to die after maybe a few episodes if they're going to cast so old and the whole point is to pass a torch to John Stewart or whatever. His expiration date on his life is looking pretty soon. But yeah, what do you guys think about this casting? I'm excited to see John Stewart adapting into live action. This is my Green Lantern. I think they got a at least appearance-wise, a good Green Lantern to do him justice. I just hope costume department and the writing, everyone else does their part. I mean, let's be honest, you don't have to be the best actor to be a superhero anyway. So even if he's not a good actor, which I'm sure he is, but even if he's a bad one, I mean, look how long Gal Gadot made it as Wonder Woman. Look at the success she had. She's not exactly a great actress herself, but she still fooled people for several movies that she could hold her own. And people accepted her as Wonder Woman for a long time until recently where everyone's kind of looking back on it and like, yeah, she had a lot of bad line delivery. She wasn't very good in those movies. So I've always had the argument you don't really have to be that great of an actor to be a superhero. Most of it's CGI stuff anyway. You're behind a green screen. And they have ways to make actors look good for the films, these high budgets they have. So I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm excited to see more of this when we get actual costumes and trailers and stuff marketing for it. But yeah, what do you guys think about this casting news? Are you excited to see Jon Stewart adapted into live action? Or maybe are you more of a Hal Jordan sort of guy? And he never really cared much for Jon. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.